It's national meets regional. It's sidewalks entertainment. The long running celebrity. Music. And art series. Join us for a new path to arts and entertainment. So we, can we try you on for a tank top? Yeah, well, we only have one size, so I hope you fit. Well, if you only got one size, I guess that's what I'm gonna have to have. You, you're a pro at that. Yeah, look at that. Fits perfect. Okay. Yeah. It's hot. Yo, what up? Larry, you're good to go. You look like a real Chippendale. I gotta tell you, I feel like one too. You look the part, so go kill it out there, okay? Hold it, hold it. You ready for that? Is this me? Whether he's selling out stadiums on his comedy tours, making multi-platinum records, or voicing your favorite on-screen character, Larry the Cable Guy is an American classic, and I am very pleased to welcome him to Sidewalks for his very first visit. Larry, welcome. Well, Cindy, it's always good to be here. I can't really see you here, but you sound spectacular. Oh, thank you so much. I wish I could see you, but we'll have to arrange that for another visit. <laughs> well, I got all dressed up for you. Doggone it, if I'd known you couldn't see me, then I wouldn't have got all decked out in this cool outfit. See, all that work for just little old me. That's I great. I know. I'm wearing, uh, so let me describe it. I'm wearing a pink unitard. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> with brown furry boots. So the fans out there, you are going to have to write in and tell me if he's really telling me the truth, all right? <laughs> now, okay, Larry, I'm I kidding. I'm not wearing brown furry boots. <laughs> <laughs> I know that you are originally from Nebraska, you good Midwestern boy you. I've got to know, do you bleed Husker uh, red and white? Oh, you darn right I do. You know, I was born in Nebraska and moved away to Florida when I was 15 and I lived there 30 some years. Just moved back to Nebraska, I wanted to raise my kids there, but I never got uh, Nebraska out of my system. Once you're born in Nebraska, and have lived any particular amount of time there, but if you're born there, you always end up back in Nebraska, any way I did anyway. But yeah, I, I got my Husker chain on, I got my Husker hat on, so I yeah, definitely. And I smell, and I, and I smell like a feedlot. <laughs> well, that can all be taken care of. <laughs> now, you created the much beloved character of Larry the Cable Guy. When was he born, and uh, how did he come to exist? as a character for you? I started doing it on stage in the late 1980s and uh, I got on a morning show in Florida in 1991. They said they needed some characters to call up and so I called up and it just got popular and it turned out to be what it turned out to be. I would have never thought in a million years that uh, what has happened to me has happened to me, but it's fun. I enjoy it. I enjoy writing for it. Uh, I, look, I'm a comedian. I like to make people laugh, and this makes people laugh, and it makes me laugh too. I'm entertained by it as well, so it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. I enjoy it. I enjoy what I do. We're going to go right out in the middle of it. Don't be afraid. You're with me. <laughs> Famous last word. Brown ones are females. Now, now they're coming at my stuff here. You'll be all right. Just don't let them eat it all. Well, they're eating it. Yo, this is ridiculous. Brewster. What? Brewster. <laughs> Brewster, seriously. What am I doing in here? Don't let them have all the feed. Well, what if I can't stop them? Get away from me. Ow. You're going to get all the clutch. <laughs> Well, you are the host for the History Channel for a TV series called Only in America with Larry the Cable Guy. For those that haven't seen the show, why don't you tell us a little bit about it? Well, Only in America. Only yeah, in America. Yeah, you know what? I just, uh, uh, it's a good positive show about America. You know, I just wanted to do a show that made people proud to be an American, and, and I wanted to show that in America where where the just an unbelievably great culture. That's why everybody wants to live in America. But you know, we have a ton of cultures within a culture to form a great culture. And so I'm just kind of immersing myself in all different activities and cultures and showing 
people in other parts of the country, what other people in other parts of the country are doing, and and uh, and uh, and uh, what makes it what makes it all great, what puts it all together. If, you know, I focus on. Uh, people that came here with nothing, whose ancestors came here and they built businesses. You know, my theme, a lot of my story themes are if uh, you work hard and you really put your mind to it, uh, in this country, uh, you're able to attain dreams by working hard and never giving up. And there's a lot of stories that I do uh, that, that prove that theory. And, and uh, the people tell me about it and they're, very historic to like the Zembelli fireworks people. You know, his that guy was telling me his dad came here from Italy with nothing. He always enjoyed fireworks and next thing you know, he's pretty much invested everything he ever made and risked it all and now he's got the largest fireworks company in the world right there in Pennsylvania and he employs a lot of people and he told me himself he couldn't have done that anywhere else but the United States and just kind of makes you proud to be an American. So it's just really cool. I just immerse myself in all different kinds of fun things and sometimes I almost get killed. <laughs> well, you had mentioned that you're married with children. You know, I, I have to wonder if, in fact, uh, you use your family at all when you're kind of coming up with material. You know, no, it, it, I, I guess in particular really. My, your kids, because, you know, if dad's kind of a crazy comedian, I can only imagine what the boyfriends say when they come home and visit, right? Well, so. No, nah, I would more, but my kids are adopted. They're Chinese, so they don't speak English. We're trying to acclimate them to, you know, what, what we're doing. Well, no, you strategic. know what? I use them every now and then. I've used my little boy. I do when I do green screens and I come out of the live picture and it's me in front of American flag and I tell people what's going on and I give them facts about what's happening. I put my little boy in one of those. So there's an episode where I tell a joke and my little boy walks on screen and he punches me and then he goes, you're not funny, you idiot, and he walks off stage. <laughs> so I, I've incorporated the kids, yes I have, and, and uh, it's really fun for me to do. My kids are awesome and they think it's cool what daddy gets to do. And so uh, I didn't get my little girl in. This is a true story. I told my little girl, I said, Reagan, I didn't get you in one of these. Daddy's got one more taping to do it. Do you want to come down and do this taping with daddy? And she goes, uh, I'll wait for one of your movies. <laughs> <laughs> So she's already Smart passing girl. up TV and going for a movie. <laughs> you know, she's got to hold out. I'm you know, as we, as we close, Larry, because we are coming to the end of our time, you know, I've got to talk to you very quickly about you voicing the character of Mater in the Cars films. I'm telling you, that is just one of the, the best characters. How, how did that character come about for you for, the, for landing the role? Wow, you know what? Whee-hoo! My name's Mater. La ta Mater, without the ta. You know, uh, John Lasseter told me he was searching and searching and searching for a voice of Mater and could not find one. And he had somebody go buy a blue collar comedy CD. He said I was the first guy up. And he said, that's my guy right there. So I got it specifically from John Lasseter just picking up a DVD or a CD of our stuff and listening to me. And it's by far one of the coolest things I've ever done. And I'm so glad that Pixar uh, had faith in me to do that character because it's a lot of fun. Larry, thank you so much for being with us today on Sidewalks. It was a pleasure, and I look forward to the next time you can visit, hopefully in person next time. Yeah, thanks, Cindy. I'll see you <laughs> next time. All right, take care. Bye-bye. Get her done. For more full-length celebrity interviews, visit SidewalksTV.com.